welcome to Adventures in Black and White. I'm Rhea, that's Rosie, and this is the next episode in Educate Me Rosie. Obviously, those guys who have been here from the start, they've seen what I got Rosie a year ago and what she looked like. I'll just insert a photo of that, her before and after now. Um, so, yeah, so while I'm going to tell you what's been going on and what we're planning, I thought I'd just give her a bit of a hot towel because as you can see, there is some a body art going on. So, you might as well... Listen to me while I do something. Um, it's a bit weird. This is not natural for me. So uh, for those that are interested, please buy oil from Naked Horse and the hottest water you can take. Um, and I'm just gonna give her a hot towel all over. But yeah, so where we are with Rosie, Rosie's currently on box rest. Um, she, I think our last update vlog we were at um, Forest Edge and basically um, after she got me off um, and we had a bit of an accident, I then didn't ride her in the car afterwards and then when I did get back on her, oh, well, I was going to get back on her and then she went home. Um, in a month all of that, she also moved house. Um, and yeah, there was just a lot of factors. So what Rosie did was she stretched her check ligament, her superior one, which runs here. Um, the check ligament they usually do is the one that runs here. So this one, um, which made her very lame. And basically, since then, we've just been trying to rehab her. Um, she's been taking rehab okay, but she is only a young horse and she just she doesn't know how to just be still um, so it's not been as straightforward um, and also um, I've had her insured for accidental damage because when I went to insure her when I bought her they wouldn't insure her fully without a betting certificate and even then they were quoting me like £1,500, um, a vetting certificate that they wanted, which would have been useless because she wasn't even broken in, um, so I didn't want to pay for that, it would have been about another £500. So I thought, let's go for accidental damage, you know, um, then she's covered for colic and things like that, and if she hurts herself, um, even though technically, this is a field injury, we think, because she didn't do it when she was in work. Um, we um, definitely, we couldn't claim. So I was stuck with a massive debt bill and I had to self-fund it, which was okay. I had the money to do that. Um, you have to, if you're gonna do things like that, you need to make sure you can self-fund because you, know, you have to have some provision. Um, but yeah, so, that was that really. Um, but yeah, we so we're now at where are we at Rosie? I think we're six weeks in. She's got another three weeks because I'm away. There's no point starting her work in when I'm just about to go away. So another week of box rest and then hopefully we'll get her out. And my aim is basically to get her out. Um, just fast forward while she gets on.
basically that has kind of put the kibosh in all my plans for the summer. Um, but yeah, so we'd, our main aim really now is just to get her out um, because she needs to put some weight back on and we do a bit of physio and stable and that, but it's not, you know, she needs to just go out and be a horse. So I'm quite committed to taking things a long way because we don't have the funds to just go in and just, and she doesn't need anything doing. She just needs time. Um, she's had some steroids. Um, and then we'll just see where we go from there. But in the meanwhile, there's loads of things we can do. So I have been working in the box a little bit. I've been working on her manners. She's in season at the moment, which is why she's a bit awkward tonight. Um, but yeah, so where do we go from here? Um, basically, I want to get her out. Um, when I can get her out, uh, that will help. And then I will get back on her. Hopefully by September. I'd like to get on her while she's still out in the field a lot. Um, our aim is to try and get her turned out sort of as much as she can be. Um, but, you know, we just have to see on these things. We never know, do you? Um, so it's just a case of seeing, getting her out, and then when she's back and happy, then I'll get back on her. And then we'll just tip away. Um, haven't had a big thing about things while we were um, our camp, I think that her, her giving nature kind of really came through and basically, you know, we just need to not rush her. So, camp was fine, it didn't mentally hurt her, but like she really wasn't, you know, her, she's just not physically there yet. So, um, what I'm going to do, let me get going. <laughs> is uh, we're going to do some showing. Um, I don't know when that will happen. But we'll start off doing in hand and then we'll go from there and we'll see. At this point, I was uh, interrupted by the other liveries. Um, I'm still a little bit shy doing this, so uh, we'll just forward, fast forward through the last bit of this me grooming her. But yeah, you get the gist. Better, but it's a bit better. So yeah, from here, that's our aim. I'll keep updated. I'll still be more educating Mosey. But from here on, I have to just think about all the good things that we did manage to do. So have a look at them here.
And you know what? Looking back at those videos, I just realised just how far we've actually come. Um, it's been pretty amazing. And I think actually this has been a really good way of recording everything. And so that when things aren't going so well, I can look back and just realise that actually we have come so far. So if you want to keep following the journey, don't forget to like and subscribe. Send me a comment and check me out on socials. And thank you so much for watching. I really, really appreciate it. Thank <music> you.